Hey everyone, welcome to Abstract Boss. So today I am gonna show you guys the process of how I made this beautiful three foot by three foot green geode. And I will talk about a couple of the steps that I missed at the end. So you guys can see here, it's gorgeous. I love it. I made it as a sort of commission for a church. They paid me for supplies and I did it for them. So it's kind of like a donation slash trade, whatever you wanna call it. Either way, it's awesome. I can't wait to show you guys how I made it all. Um, and then at the end, I will talk about some of the things that I went through with this piece that might help you out in the future. So stay tuned.
to the after show. So basically what I want to do is talk to you guys a little bit about this geode and some of the things that I went through. Um, hopefully that'll help you guys in the future to just kind of help problem solve and get through some of the, the things that I had to go across. So this is a three foot by three foot geode. Um, I actually did not originally intend to have it take so many days. Um, it did take three days, four if you want to consider the last thing that I changed on it. But Basically, um, the biggest thing that I recommend that I have not been able to achieve myself is being able to mix more resin at one time for your base layer. I have not been able to achieve that because I have very minimal containers. I don't have very large containers. So because of that, I had to mix a bunch of little bits at a time and my hands were killing me. So that's kind of something that I really highly recommend is being able to mix a larger amount. If you do consider getting one of those drill mixers, I am gonna be um, getting one here as soon as I get back from Montana. And I'll talk to you guys all about that because it's gonna be so much easier for anyone who's doing the larger projects. Um, second off, the Resi Blast. I actually really loved it. Just know that if you guys are gonna use the Resi Blast, not to use it on your first layer. Do not use it on your first layer. Get those colors down, know where everything's at, and then use Resi Blast on anything on top because it will leave holes. That's the point of it. It forces the resin to react and separate. And I use just a tiny little toothpick for everything. So make sure that when you guys are using that, you definitely wait until after like your day two or day three. Um, the other thing is whenever I mix these things, I did multiple colors. So I use alcohol ink to dye some of those rocks and I'll do a video on that for you guys. It'll probably be out either next week or the week after. So um, keep, keep an eye out for that. And what I did here is I mixed some of the plain ones that I had no color. I also did some gold and I did some green. And then I sprinkled multiple types of glitter. The more things that you can add into the one area, the more variety you're gonna give your geode. So I did the same thing here and I did the same thing here. This particular one, I did not wanna add anything else to it. So I just did the nice bright, no color uh, texture. And then I did the same thing up here. Uh, glitter, of course, this is just glitter and resin. I didn't mix it into any of my colors. This was actually spray paint that I mixed and I thought that it was going to be a lot brighter. It did not turn out to be as bright as I wanted it to be, but I still think it looks fantastic. It's actually the same spray paint um, used here and here. Um, Oh no, hold on, sorry. So these, the one that turned out kind of like a coppery tone, I thought it was gonna be super bright gold, and that was the spray paint. This was actually the Just Resin Bright Gold, and you guys, I gotta be honest, I definitely thought it was gonna be a lot brighter. Um, maybe I used it wrong, I don't think so, but I am gonna look into that a little bit more, and I'm gonna problem solve that before I do a video on that, just so you guys know whether or not that's something that you might wanna use in the future. Uh, because it looked like it was going to be a spectacular gold, but when I mixed it into the resin, it came out very dull um, in comparison to what it was in the jar. So something to keep in mind there. And yeah, then the very last day I did the layers, the final layers with the glitter and this, I had silver and gold leafing mixed together. If you guys want to go check it out on my Instagram, you can, abstractboss.llc. And the issue though, is it just the whole color scheme did not pull together well for me. So what I decided to do was take the same color I used here since it was only shown here and move that up and also apply it up here. That worked out beautifully. I really love it. 
Um, the other issue is even though things were leveled, I had two leaks. Okay, so instead of just putting tape, I recommend putting a second layer of tape that also loops underneath the bottom. That I did not do until after it started leaking and that was, oh man, that's totally stuck because it started coming out here, which I kind of showed you guys in the video and then also started coming out here so you can see how it pulled my resin off and forced it to get rid of some of the cells. I mean, if you guys are going for that texture, perfect. Uh, but if you're not, then obviously that's not, you know, what you're going for. So, um, those are kind of the things that I went across and problems that I had on this particular piece. Um, on the back of it, I put hanging hardware. So I'm going to show you guys how I do that. I had a couple questions this last week on my Instagram asking how I do that. So I just get the 50 pound wire because I want it to be nice and durable. And it's a set. It comes with four eye hook thingies um, and then the 50 pound wire and then also comes with two hanging hooks that go on the wall which I will give to the church so that way they can have that to hang this on um, and then I also at the bottom signed let's see if I can lift that up yep I signed my name I signed abstract boss I put a copyright just in case people are trying to take pictures of this and then I also put the month and the year that I did the art I thought that would be kind of cool for people to look at um, it would also be cool for me to look back on so that was something I did and then I also did do a very small signature in the bottom left hand corner of this front piece and it's actually really hard to see so I'm not even gonna try to show you guys uh, that particular part but just know that I do sign my artwork now because I don't want people to start stealing it and posting those pictures everywhere and yeah I think that's about it I think I covered everything so let me know if I did not in the comments below if you guys have questions um, but besides that I hope you guys have a really fantastic weekend and I'll see you guys Sunday finishing up the lioness it's my very last Sunday I'll have for a month because I'm going to be in Montana. So I won't be working on the Lioness for a whole nother month. So make sure you join me live at 5 Sunday Eastern Standard Time. And I'll catch you all next time. Have a great night, everyone.